<laughs> oh, that's your character. All right. All right, cool. That's cool. All right, Hello. so I got... I'm setting up the campaign right here. All right. So, hey guys, it's Dragon Myth here. Welcome back to yet another podcast. I do apologize for last week. I wasn't able to attend. I had uh, some problems with, with, with life. So here... We have uh, a couple other guests and your favorite reoccurring person, Portmaster. Hey! Yay. <laughs> six, you... I'm six subscribers away from breaking 100. Oh, nice. That's congrats. Oh, and also we have Sheriff. He's also been here before. Wait, I have? Yeah, you have. Well, <laughs> although you're not, you've not been chat and you haven't been speaking with us, but you've been chatting. We also have a new person. Uh, would you like to introduce Hi, yourself? Me. Yeah, go um, ahead. Um, Sure. I mean, uh, what, do, what would I say? No, just introduce yourself. Is anything? Oh wait, um, my name's Elsa. I'm a pretty chill person. I like books. I like D and D, and I like art. And also, orchestra is better than band, and that's all I have to say. Hmm. Okay. Speaking of D and D, uh, Sheriff doesn't even know anything about D and D. He's completely new to this. So. I oh, decided damn. to center this around teaching him what D&D is and see if he likes it or not. So do you have any questions before we actually start going through the D&D &D and stuff? Will it drive me absolutely insane? <laughs> well, if you're not a fantasy lover or like just a person who likes just stuff like that, then I, I think maybe. Maybe. It really depends on your own personal tastes. Yeah, it does. It really does. I I'm a complete nerd, so I, I love this shit. This, this is amazing to yeah, me. Yeah, same. <laughs> I think oh, we're all nerds. Chill. Okay, cool. I, don't, I don't think we would be here if we weren't nerds. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. That's, yeah. That's pretty pretty valid. true. So you got so before we actually go into D and D, you guys have any? Well, you're you're excluded from this one, Golden, sadly, because we don't know you too much. But if you want to join in and actually add on, go ahead. Uh, what are some current events? Like anything happened? What what's been happening, man? I haven't talked to you guys yet about that. I ate my cat. Oh my God! What? <laughs> <laughs> what are you Chinese? Okay, that's a little racist, but hey, that's, that's a little oh, joke right there. Well, you know what? You know what they say? Yeah, when you, it's like an egg. Yeah, whether you're white or brown, it doesn't matter. On the inside, we're all Chinese. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> Your dog agrees. I am questioning the sanity of these people right here, um, right now. I agree. I agree with their dog. I would like this. I would like this. No, I would like to say that <laughs> what sanity. And will you please close your door? <laughs> Excuse me. Hold on. One second. Hi. Shut up, Coral, in the podcast. Ah, shut up. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> okay. No, no uh, need to be rude. By squishing, I mean. Okay, by eating, I mean I took her and I squished her. And put her in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually eat her. So you ate her. No, I didn't actually eat her. She's she's too small and too much fur. It was an expression for saying that I picked up my cat and then smooched her and then held her above, like in Lion King. Oh, great! I don't know how to add your characters to a campaign, but I do have the link to the campaign itself. Oh, uh, send yeah, send the camp uh, send the here's, campaign link. Here's the link to the campaign. All there right. we go. Boosh. Cool. I'm joining Bobby. soon. Oh no, what happened to Sheriff? <laughs> I think he's taking care of his dog. Wink Christ. wink. Uh join with this character. Okay, so I that's that's what you do? I uh, yeah, <laughs> I just joined. Oh great. Oh, let's go on Discord. By the way, is that better sound quality? No, oh, that... you sound a lot worse. You sound a lot oh, you God. sound muffled. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I tried my new headset. Oh, hey, it's you're you're understandable at least. It's you not... sound like you're talking through a foot of foam. Yeah, it sounds like you're muffled. <laughs> okay, let me undo that. Uh, why? Are you sure you sent the right link? Cause it's not really letting me join. What? Yeah, of That's course I did. I mean, it worked for me. I joined. Yeah. It's not I... letting me. It's it's making me sign in. But well, sign in. in. Goofus, I'm sign in. I'm trying to sign in, but it's doing this weird thing where it becomes a loop and it's pissy. Uh -oh. Sign in first. All right. So what can what can and can't you do when you create a campaign? Because this is my first time making it. Uh, I. <laughs> Let me read this. Everyone sounded like they came from a flip phone. 
<laughs> well, uh, that's because I have my phone very far away from me. Well, reasonably far away from me. Oh, I got... Oh, not with my headset specifically. Oh, I got Fortmaster. I got your Dredar. Yay! Hey, and you don't have a picture for him? Why, fam? Why? I, I, I couldn't find a picture on such short notice. That's uh, fine. You could describe what he looks like, and we'll just draw him or something. He's a bronze. He's a bronze dragon board with red hair. Oh, that sounds flashy. Uh, DM public I notes. Actually... Yeah. I, I, I feel like one. it sounds like every main character of every game series. <laughs> So for, the, for what what can you do with the campaign thing? Because it looks like I can only uh, view the people in it. Nothing really much. Oh really? Yeah. Black. I can edit. I can edit people. What? No, I don't want. I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. That's what we need to. That's what we need. I I don't want to do that. Let's go back to my campaigns. I don't want to edit anyone. <laughs> I can view okay, his it's thing. Okay, not freaking. Yep. I have an idea. Yeah. I have a genius idea. Holy smokes, Off you got 12 it. armor? Dude, my bard has more armor than you, and he's a bard. Nice. I'm sneaky. I'm a bard. I play music. I play music. I have more armor than you, and I play music. How is this? Okay. What? I don't, I don't understand this, man. I don't understand you. My armor is my speed i have 14 i have 15 dexterity my armor is my speed too and i'm a level three <laughs> bard and my and i have 15 armor oh my i got it I, i've never I'm done it before don't I'm make fun of me oh my god dude a bard literally just makes music that's that he doesn't attack my focus is healing uh, a joint. all right great let, let me thing. just reset yeah. this one all right so let's go back so um what what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about some from uh, a little bit about D and D, and then we're gonna describe about the campaign, and we're gonna do a little test run. Yay! Yay. All right, so Fortmaster got oh oh he muted himself. Okay. Uh, I'm not, I haven't muted myself. Not Fortmaster Sheriff. You muted him. He muted himself pretty bad. Uh, yeah. Like All right. Full mute or just like half mute? No, oh, half he mute. can hear us, but we can't hear him. So. I'll explain how we're going to do the D&D. So basically, what I'm going to be using is actual D&D. How do you make a map with this? If I don't know how to make a map, I'm just going to use R20. My other option is to use Roll20 to make the maps and show people around. Oh, I got you too. And then for rolling, we can either do Beyond D&D, but I prefer to go to uh, Discord here. And we're going to, yeah, under the Dungeons and Dragons chat, we linked our characters to the chat. And we're going to do a bunch of bot commands to roll for... The roll with all our adjustments on it. Now, now do it. Uh, uh, I'm making my roll twenty account as we speak. All right. So, Boop. Golden, can you do me a favor and hop into Discord and roll me a R twenty, or uh, okay. roll me a D twenty, a, 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 a Dex check, no, roll me a Dex check with your modifier. I think it's automatic since. What is my modifier? Uh, Wait. So it, it, we sign in to roll twenty. No, you don't have to do that. For now. I'm just right now I'm scooping around. Alright, so you see she installed the command and it showed your total is seven. That yeah. sucks. Aren't you the yeah. person who died last time? Or was that that was um That was me. That was you, yeah, you died so bad. Four master, here's what happened. So I was doing a zombie <laughs> campaign and the giant a giant airplane came crashing down in the airport and zombies started spearing out, creating more and more zombies. This person yeah. decided to just okay. go run towards the horde of zombies and think no, she could. No, what I decided to do was to run towards the big one, and I wanted to punch it in the face, but Dude. I tripped and I failed like all my checks. I know, so but. I... And then I got ate alive by zombies, and then I couldn't even come back as a zombie because I failed that too. Yeah, there was oh, like wow, a 20% okay. chance. But there was a giant army of zombies in front of the big zombie. You're not going to be able to go through all of them unless. I was keeping to character. My character was a huge, wait, wait, like a huge buff dude with an even bigger head. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he's muscle so, brain. More like basically. an airhead. <laughs> yeah, he's an airhead. Oh my god. So she that was rolled. The point. So she rolled. The run and she fell and tripped, but she could have escaped. Instead, her character just rolled on her back, on his back, and then they just ripped him apart. Okay, I thought so it was gonna make it interesting, but then Dragon. I failed, and so yeah. it wasn't very interesting. Dragon, I made a game on roll twenty. How do I find your game? 
Oh, great. I didn't do anything with roll 20 right now. I'm still learning the thing. Oh. I'm still confused. <laughs> Alright, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, you're back, Sheriff. Alright, so, uh, you got any questions oh, about D&D &D and what's D&D &D and stuff like that? Uh, yeah. Please. All right. Because I'm so confused. Alright, so, give me your questions. How am I supposed to question what I don't know? Well, okay, just <laughs> ask what you want to know about D&D. &D. Like, what is D&D? &D? That's another, another valid question. Well, I mean, I kind of get what D and D is now. Mm-hmm. But a like, bunch of people yelling at each other. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And then DM just have to take through, go through all the bullshit, bullshit, and keep everyone calm. Yep. You, know, you know, Sheriff, I I just remembered something. After this stream, if you're still confused at what Dungeons and Dragons is, look uh, on YouTube. There's a couple of like homemade films. They're called The Gamers. They are the funniest things I have ever seen, and they're and they're basic. They're and they're about D and D. If you're still confused after the stream, look them up and watch them. They're on a channel either called um. Well, I, I'll send you a link or something. Do they do they have a podcast? Because there's a podcast I listen to as well. It's also just as good. The name is Dungeon Dungeon no, Quest. No, they're, they're they're just movies. They're um. Uh, oh. like, I'll, I'll like I'll I'll send I'll find the links and put uh, put them up on the Discord. Wait, so there. they create movies out of D and D cases. Well, no, no. What happens is they're movies where okay. So basically, in the first movie, basically it's about a group playing their campaign. I don't think it's a real campaign, but you see, like you see, the movie kind of switches between the people in real life and their characters in the game, and it kind of like flip flops between their reactions and the characters. Yeah. That's oh, I know what you're talking about. I, w I have yet to see that movie. I I want to watch it really bad though. And then there's, I heard there's a point where one of the one of the characters made a female, but he kept forgetting. And in the movie, yeah. he yeah, switched. And the is, yeah, and the thing is, like the the guy, the the the, the re character in real life, he kept forgetting that his character was a female, was female. So whenever he did, the person, uh, the person in game would literally switch between being a guy and a girl. Yeah, it was like, oh wait, I'm supposed to be a girl, and it switched to the to yeah, the he was, actor. He, the character would walk off screen and walk back on the right as the right gender. It was really yeah, funny. <laughs> it was a, yeah, I heard Man. about that. What? <laughs> Okay, yeah, then. yeah. You so gotta... like, he's try like he's trying to flirt with another woman. It's like, so how you do it? It's like you're a woman. It's like he's like, it's like I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, and he just walks <laughs> off, and then the actual gender yeah, gender person comes in. Yeah, and then there's a thing where it's like, um, one of the characters he's a bard with super high charisma. So literally everywhere they go, he just seduces every woman he sees. So whenever they're having a conversation, he'll literally just take a barmaid, kiss her, and walk off, uh, and walk off the se off, walk off screen. Oh my god! I, I gotta um, see it. I gotta see it. The huh? other day we were okay. doing a. Hey, Shush, I'm telling a funny story. I don't care if it's off topic. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's mildly on topic. So the other day we were. Just kind of during our campaign, and we came across a wraith. Mm -hmm. And for the first time, and unrealistically, I had made my charisma very high. And I was like, I'm gonna fuck the wraith. <laughs> oh my god. What? No. They were Wait, like, did you, you can't. Mean metaphorically or literally? No, I think she meant literally. <laughs> I think she meant god. literally. It's a ghost. You're gonna fuck a ghost? Really? <laughs> Well, yeah, and so I was like, what if I do, what if I do Armor of Shadows? And they were like, that's not gonna help. And I was like, god damn it. And so I couldn't fuck the Wraith, and that made me sad. Oh, okay. Oh, there's this one story, there's this one time where I got a friend of mine who was a DM, and, uh, you know, you know the rules of D&D, you gotta follow the dice no matter what. The dice is everything. Yeah. So, yeah. he was, he was DMing a whole campaign where they're at the final stage, final, fighting the final, final boss. And it was supposed to be hard. His HP was, what, 500 plus. But mm -hmm. one of the characters rolled a critical hit three times, and he just one-shot the guy. And the DM oh, was like, wow. what the fuck? Dude, this was something that was supposed to take an hour, and the span of hour only took in a span of, like, 15 minutes at most. <laughs> he was pissed. It was amazing. Oh, he was on a, he was off of a rant, too. So, the, the oh, Sheriff, I, I don't think you know about this, but certain rules in D&D... Uh, it depends on each ad uh, adaptation, which is I'm gonna have to explain when uh, before we do our uh, D and D campaign. But like certain rules, like if you hit a critical roll twenty in a dice, twice, uh, you do it once. It's it's a uh, it's a critical hit, so you get to either 
roll another attack dice, or you just double the damage that you do. If you roll three times, you automatically kill anything that you fight. But, if you roll the n Jesus. lowest number, which is one, three times, you automatically die. Or if you roll it once, you injure yourself. Nah. Or you fail, yeah. Oh, yeah, wait a second. So what I've done makes that this? Too. I was trying to attack one of the skeletons, and I tripped over a skeleton that had been defeated, and fell flat on my face and lost two health points. Yeah. So what makes D and D different from actually role playing is when you role play without the D and D rules, you just do. You you, just, you you could cheat or whatever. You, it's basically a fantasy in your head. But what makes yeah. what makes the difference from that and D and D is. D&D adds a little bit of realism to that. Like, every time you try to do something, you have to roll a dice to see if your character actually does it or doesn't do it. It's a roll yeah. of chance. Or just falls on their face, because yeah. pretty much... So, I, I noticed that, like, it seems like in D&Ds, like, there's a lot of cases where people just, no matter what they try to do, they just end up falling on their faces. Maybe. So that they, could be the case. I mean, just like the, my last campaign... Golden just died straight up. She failed every check. She <laughs> she rolled roll, she rolled low. Okay, I'll give you an example, like a really quick one. Fort Master, your character is your dragon thing, right? You're fighting a skeleton. Okay, you're gonna. What do you want to do? You're in front of the skeleton. The skeleton's in front of you, and you're in a fighting stance. It's your turn. Uh, first, first thing you gotta do is roll me an initiative. So that means you roll me a high number or a low number, and then whoever has the higher number goes first in order. That's what an initiative is. So oh, I can get that. Yeah. Oh wait, you don't know the command, do you? Nope. Oh, uh, just so in Dungeon and Dragon, you're gonna do an exclamation mark, R space, one d twenty for a one d twenty. Okay, so also, my my freaking I I need to restart my phone because it decided to freaking decide to mess up because yeah. All right, so I just switched on to the desktop thing. It makes it a lot easier on my end. Actually, can you hear me? I might uh, get on yeah, Discord on me. my PC, so then I don't have to deal with this. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier. That's yeah, why I always do in that's PC. Valid. I have it on both my uh, iPad and my phone. All right, did you, uh, Fort Master, did you back. roll a 1d20? Oh. Okay. Fort is, is even here. All right, all right, all right. Uh, Golden, you do it. Your character is here. Why, why don't you roll a one d twenty for initiative? We're gonna we're gonna be using your character, which is uh, Quasire. Oh my God, what the hell is Quasera? Qu quiz qu qu Quisera. Is that how you say it? Quisera. Is that how you say it? All right. All right. So. I just noticed I muted myself and I was really pissed off. So, Fortmaster, uh, can you roll me a one d twenty? Did you did you know did you hear how I uh, told you or no? Um, Fort. I I think I think he left. All right. Asking. Yeah, no, Golden, just roll me roll me it. Yeah, you're we're gonna use your character for example. All right. Yeah, so your character is around the skeleton. So God damn it. <sighs> you rolled 19. Okay, okay. Uh, hold so, on. Wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. Yeah. Okay, it's a genius idea. Wait, wait, wait. Let me let me explain. Oh, and hey, he rolled it. that I critical failed. All right. How did you do that? How do you make an automatic critical fail? 1d3. Mm -hmm. I rolled a 1d3. I mean, you can also roll a g1. Oh, all right. Okay, so your character critically fails, okay? Sheriff, can you hear us? Oh, you <laughs> left. That time. <laughs> okay, I'll explain it for the stream. So basically, this is a critical fail. This character, since she railed so badly, you have to roll again in order to make sure that you, it's an actual fail. So you have to roll another 1d20 to check if, if your critical fail injures yourself. If you injure yourself in this I'm process. Gonna I'm going to roll again. Should I yeah. The or the yeah. Roll the actually one d twenty to see if you injure yourself or not. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, hello? It's R, not roll. You just do. Yeah. Oh, hey. I. Not really. 
No, you didn't injure yourself. You just failed. So, in this case, I failed epically. You have to describe what your character is going to do. Then you you roll the dice, but it's been already too late. So, describe what your character does, and pretend it's uh, before you roll. My character is currently running in a forest, and then I trip on a branch, and then I just kind of keep. Oh wait, I'm supposed to be. You're right. supposed to be fighting a skeleton. Really? So, like for this one, before you rolled, like okay, my character is going to try doing this or whatever. Right? I want to use the club that I definitely have, the hypothetical club, and I mm -hmm. want to bash it, but I don't really bash it. I just kind of... All right, and then this is my turn since you critically failed. You rolled again, and you didn't take damage because of the seven. So what I'm going to say is your character goes up to the skeleton and tries to hit hit it in the head with, with the club, but she she missteps or something and swings and misses him completely. The skeleton, the skeleton then looks at her and just uh, does a motion of laughing, but no noise comes out. See, oh, and then the reason cool. why your character went first is because when you first rolled, you initially I rolled a 19. A you got a higher initiative with this 19, and my skeleton, which is a DM, got only a 15, which is why you were you yeah. went first. All right. Yeah. Yep. And then and so. Yeah. So we don't got the person who's going to give us the questions. That's bad. That is super um, bad. I have an idea. Ah. The power shoot. of Google commonly asked questions oh my god really all right sure we can do that because our source of questions isn't there <laughs> yeah i wonder what happened to fort master oh well whatever go ahead and ask me the questions and i'll try to answer it to the best of my abilities okay oh shoot i forgot um... yeah do, do you have dice roller over in your uh beyond D? &D? Do you have dice roller and beyond D&D for your end? Because in my end, it's right here on screen. Well, I kind of... My dice are currently at another place. Uh, I don't have them with me. And they're a few miles away, and I don't want to bike. Oh, dear um, God. Okay. Yeah, sure. So, but I have... But I'm just using the Discord one. All right. All right. Um, D8. A general D6. question... Mm -hmm. Is hmm. just uh not really giving me anything that's like cool. It's like well, uh, just get there's one. There's only you... just stuff like what can I access for free? Um, oh, no. oh hey Fort, you're back. What's more? up? Uh, not uh, not quite. Just give me a second. I'm some issues going on right now. All right. Okay. That, that's Valid. cool. Well, right. okay, so I guess you want to, since since we're going to go a little bit off topic, you want to go and start the actual campaign, I'll invite, or I'll let Fort, Fort Master join later on. Uh, <laughs> sure, yeah. Alright, so for, for, for this campaign test, we're going to be un going under the rules of my world, which is uh, Dragon Cast, the world of Dragon Cast. Oh my god, that's so stupid. So Very basically creative. what this, this fantasy is is a high fantasy campaign set forth in the world of D&D. We have two sets of adventurers, the summoned and or noble heroes. Let's see. Did I I believe I edited it already? I don't don't know why I didn't update. Do you want me to play two characters at once cuz I can do that? No, don't do that. It's too complicated. Let's okay. see. I mean, Copy links and right. edit. edit campaign. Okay, I could have sworn I saved it. Two sets of adventurers, the summon, the summoned, slash, world travelers. No, it wasn't world travelers, it was other worlders. Other worlders. Worlders. Well, I'm going to test the modifiers real quick. And there we go. And then I just click on save, but I can. Don't know how to save in this thing. Oh, here it is, right there. Oh, save. What are you using? <laughs> All right. Well, I have something set. Okay. What, what were you doing just now? Oh, I was just testing. All save right, it that's good. Counts the modifiers. A lot. Well, I don't think yeah. you have to include the modifiers because it's automatically included since you already connected your character in. Uh... Test it. Test one without the modifier and test one with the modifier. See if it's. If it's the same. 
No, Hold of course. Up. Wait, if I do roll d2, mm -hmm. and then I do roll, I'm bad at spelling. No, it's roll fine. d2 plus, let's say, 2. You get, you get three. Hmm. All right, here, do me a, okay, yeah, I got one. Just do, roll, roll a, uh, dexterity check, or what, what, what do you know you have a, uh, your strength check. Do you got a plus two modifier for that one? Roll one D 20. That's it. Just a one D 20 or a, uh, yeah, yeah. strength check. Not, not one D 20. I already put the command there just roll in case if you need STR, it. Which is just STR, right? Uh, I believe it is. No, that's not it. I put it in Infobots. Uh, saves character Info roll. That one. Checks. There he goes. I, uh, exclamation mark C. Kill and then your dice. Uh, yeah. So, uh, exclamation mark C split space STR space 1D20. Or 1D5. That, that should work too. Okay. So, C. Uh, 1... STR one D five. Alright. So that's uh oh, one D okay. So did it automatically do it or no? Because it said plus yes. two. So it's automatic. They it already automatically, automatically... Did it. Okay, yeah, it's because your character is already there. So we don't have to worry about right. adding modifiers. We only add modifiers oh, cool. is when when I asked to add more modifiers in the game. Alright, can you tell yeah, me a little bit more guess... about the, the campaign for Beyond D D? Like aside from Having the people connect, what else can you do? So um, there's DM notes. I personally there's... haven't DM'd a campaign through Dungeons mm -hmm. and Dragons or D and D Beyond, but based on what you said, you can edit the characters I because you are the DM, uh -oh. which means that you can. Um, happening? Sheriff, what what's up, buddy? I what's up, exist buddy? now. Yay. That was one way. That was one way. Oh no, echoes. Oh no, echoes. Ew, echoes. Hold on. All right. So it doesn't look like I can do anything. So you're gonna have to go through R20 for this. I'm kind of getting. Yeah, it's echoing over from me too. Okay. I'm kind of getting a lot of echo, which is one thing, and the other thing is also. The fact that you should, if you click on edit, you can basically, it's like having your own character in D&D &D Beyond, except you can edit other people. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So I'm thinking about just taking it to R20 so I can show the maps and stuff to make it easier. Okay. Okay. Wait, somebody is causing us huge freaking echo. Yeah, it's probably Sheriff. That's probably Sheriff. Uh, let's see. Uh, roll 20. There you go. Oh, crap. Noodles. If I do that, what happens? Oh, I have an idea. Yeah, go ahead. We could lower... Um, we could lower our own volume so that... Uh, links. Uh, where is it? Our uh, Sheriff? 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 Can you lower our volume so we don't get such echo? Oh, I don't think he can hear us. I think he's asking though. Like, all right. Uh, I can hear a background noise. Yeah, I that's can hear from background him. Background people. That's from him. Uh, uh, okay, I'm opening roll twenty right now. All right. Yeah, I'm opening it right up too. So I just got roll twenty. Uh, let's see, dragon roll, view all games. So I got my uh, counter ready. Let's see more. All right. So I'm gonna go to games. My create new game. I'm gonna do that. Now it's gonna be dragon cast. You have to make sure it's free to play. Oh, all right. So tags. D and D. Optional character sheet. Uh, what do you mean for optional character sheets? Uh, I don't know. Uh, none, because all the rolling, all the roll is going to be in uh to, in Discord. Okay. Let's see. 
from the marketplace. You gotta buy. That's free. I I think that's free. Oh, okay. Uh, marketplace. Change module. No, I'm just gonna do uh. None. Age by roll twenty. D and D five E. Yeah, five E. That's gonna be it. Ready yeah. to create. Okay, so it's gonna be called Dragon Cast. I'm not gonna do any PNG for that one. Let's see. Begin and choose. Uh, begin typing to choose game. Next will be. All right, if we go to BN D and D Beyond. I can do that one and go to campaigns here. I can just copy and paste. Hey, dude, you're you're echoing really bad, really horribly right now. It, right. I locally used Sharif no... just to see or Sharif what just to see what happens. What? There's no echo. No, that's good. Yeah, now there is. Wait, what? Uh, eh. How's there echo? I have headphones on. I'm confused. All right, save changes. Okay. All right, so game add-ons, no, I'm gonna post new topic. I'm going to speak right next to the mic just to test it, so I, I might accidentally kill you guys. Oh, God. Might as well wow. Take off my headphones. Okay, code of conduct. Oh, wait, okay, there was no echo. We're cool, we're cool. Yeah, we're all cool. Playing unknown. Give me we are cool, sure. kids. Okay, so, uh. Go back. I don't want this. What are you doing again? Uh, right now, rule 20, just setting up for the whole thing. So, you got any questions for D&D? Yeah. Because &D? we kind of left when when asking about that. Join uh, in. If you want to join in. I think I have a pretty good idea. We got more people here, finally. Oof. Oh, more people? How many? Uh, looks like... Uh, couldn't be... Yeah. Oh, let's watch Godzilla. Oh, it's fine. Food. Bundy. We got, I think, two people. Hey, uh, what's up, Boomer? Finally, you actually joined! Yay! Yay! Oh, hey, that's... Uh, it's totally fine. Here, let me... Uh, yeah, you're really, really hard to hear, man. You're so low right now. Me? No, no, Boomer. Uh, Boomer. Oh, oh Boomer. Oh, that, that sounds like a you problem. All right, just to keep you a little bit informed. Right now, what we're doing is we're talking about D and D, and then we're setting up for a campaign that's going to be up and coming. Sweet. D and D, all about it. Oh, you know all about it? I am, I am, but I'm trying to fix everything. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Can hear you. Oh, it was. Oh, I was using the microphone. I've just realized. Oh my God, four master. Jesus, a... man, it's so long. I'm sorry. It's the the joys of having a of a technology illiterate mother. Yeah, I had that problem too. Uh, oh, I can invite players. Such a pain. Holy shit! I can invite players. What? Life is pain. Okay, wait. What's going on? Existence sorry, I haven't I haven't been here for like how long? All right, I can I can invite people to roll twenty. Here, I'll do that right now. Actually, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, okay, so right there. My, I guess my my account is it's my my on my account is just uh, Lucas Sherwood. I guess. No, I gotta give you the link. You gotta have to click on oh, it. My, sadly. Okay, wait. This. Oh, okay. Yeah, give it to me then. Where is it? Dungeons and Dragons. All right, let me oh, put there, in collaborations. Is, is it at the bottom or? Oh. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, it's at the bottom. I'll, I'll copy it. All right, so Sheriff uh, Boomer, if you got any questions for Dungeons and Dragons, go ahead and ask before we describe a little bit further in. Uh, I'm pretty set up. I've been playing for, for like a little bit. I have joined like I've, I've only played D D, D once, but I've absolutely loved it. So I'm, it's so I'm, much fun. I've got isn't everything. It? Oh, I pretty from, much get well, the basics. We we don't like we don't sort of go like full like heavy onto the things. We actually just have fun, just mess around doing. Yep. That's Whatever basically it. It's storytelling. That's that's the that's why I like about it. I'm pretty oh, yeah. new to DMing, so. Okay, I'm joining. I know a little oh, bit, in a little bit. This? No, don't you don't. Count. You don't. No, don't. don't. Uh, Fort Master wants to join in the campaign, so he. That's why he's doing it. Oh. I'm actually right. gonna have. Do I, do I I'm actually gonna have people. 
Well, if you want to join, go ahead. But I'm gonna actually have people that I'll just listen because I actually gotta edit the video. Am oh, I going nice. to be joining? Oh. Uh, hey guys. Um, so apparently I have responsibilities to get to, and oh, you like, gotta go. Responsibilities. Oh no, I don't want I don't that. How long do you think this would take? Oh, uh, it's gonna be an hour and thirty minutes or twenty minutes at most. Um. Yeah. So maybe all like right. another I forty might something leave, minutes. Like, halfway through that. Oh, that's fine. The same thing with Fortmaster. I like, I like half an hour, probably. All right. Yeah, the same thing with Fortmaster. All right. So if you're not going to do that, I'm going to go in, in and gritty about the details for uh, Dungeons and Dragons. So we just gone through uh, initiative and then the fighting, and we explained critical failing. Now we're going to have to explain critical uh, hitting. So for critical hitting okay. is when you hit a dice... Uh, a natural 20 twice Good is God. when you roll a, a dice of 1d20, which is a That's dice of feeling. 20 sides, and you hit a 20, you get an opportunity to get a double attack and to attack twice, or depending on your DM's preferences. My preferences is you get to roll an attack twice, and you get to do double damage if it's, if it's another natural 20. But if it's not, it's just roll twice for attack. So okay. basically, so basically what it is is you roll it once, you roll it twice, you get you get the double damage plus two attack. But if you roll it a third time, it's insta kill whatever you're fighting. So imagine just imagine just being on a massive boss fight, just getting three hits, and they're just like. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I that's what I said earlier. I had a friend who were in a final fight with a group of players, and their final boss got insta killed because the guy rolled a natural twenty three times, and he was pissed. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. Someone must have been freaking lucky as hell. Oh, he was super lucky. Uh, All right, so okay. I'm in the roll twenty thing. Um, yeah, I'm, we're gonna have yeah. to do that a little bit later on because I don't know what to do as well. I'm still learning as well. I'm gonna do that after the podcast. Check it out some more. Is this so, live stream, by the way? Oh yeah, it's live stream. It's just completely uh, live. Hi, everyone, live right now. <laughs> yeah, why yeah, don't you oh, introduce yourself madness. if you're if you're gonna be in it? Uh, I am. Wait, right now. Yeah, sure. You got a channel. Yeah, I wanna, wanna. Oh god. Ah, the pressure. Oh Hi. no. <laughs> Don't worry. No Hi. one really watches this. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. pressure is too real. Uh, 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 okay, that sounds wrong. I have to go. I have to go. I have to go. What? Don't mind him. Don't mind him. The pressure is too real. All right. I've composed myself. Hi, I'm Boomer <laughs> Ryan. Um, I I do videos and stream on YouTube. Okay. Oh, there we I go. I do so too. Video games mostly, it's and video mostly game creation. Yo, uh, Alex. I um, myself. I can't find your Twitch. I'm trying to find your Twitch. Oh, okay. I'll Twitch. do that. Well, it's actually I think it's in um, uh, it was in it was in server announcements, I believe. No, an announcement oh, for uh, yeah. dr uh, Dragoncast. Oh, I got it. Yeah, it automatically does that. So, because I always have people asking me where where's that is in the share. Like, oh, let's just do that. All right, so yeah. uh, we're gonna run like a little small situation. Fortmaster, do you know how to roll a one d twenty here in uh in in uh Discord? In here. Oh damn it! He's he left again. Okay, Golden is up to you yet again. <laughs> All right, so I believe. So we're in the situation, the same situation with the skeleton. You're gonna explain to me what your character tries to do. So tell me this: you're in front of the skeleton. The skeleton is in front of you. He's big, menacing, and he looks stupid because he has no eyes. So come on, hit me. Oh wait, 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 wait! First initiative. We gotta roll that crap again. God damn it! I forgot about that. Oof. Why? Why? Yeah, you gotta do it because I say so. No, so that's not that's it? not the why that I'm whying at. The why that I'm whying at is my iPad being stupid, so I gotta oh, do this on my phone. All right, I'll roll the Love first that. one. See what I got. I got fourteen. See if you can beat that. Ha! Oh, Probably can't. Shit. Yeah, take that. Oh god damn it again! Hey. Fuck again! Wait, you got a nineteen and an eighteen. What the hell? I dicks. <laughs> damn it! All right, all right. So you got an eighteen. Fuck you. But. You, you go first. So, what does the character try to do? Um, are you saying that I should rig this so I kind of go bad? N yeah, Wait, no, you, you rig this where you go completely right, but you gotta tell me what your character does before you roll. Huh? So, where you're gonna you get your- commands in? Okay, so the command uh, it's is- just in Dungeons and Dragons. 
Yeah. So it's it's under right, uh. So if you want to know the commands. Sheet real quick. Yeah, sure. So what do you want to do if you I... want to know the commands is uh. under bot info. So okay, I'm sorry, I was dying. Want... What's happening? You, you <laughs> left me again. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Ah. I'm, I am so sorry, but I, I'm the IT person for my house. I am too, but I got that shit under a leash. Yeah, the thing is, my mother doesn't know how to send and uh, how to print the uh, attachments from emails. Same. Um, my mom doesn't even know how to turn on internet. Question. Yeah. Based on what I have, um, can I can skeletons take uh, necrotic damage? I don't no, think I, so. It's an undead. From so what I no. understand, I think they only like take good damage from like blunt weapons. No, no, they can take. Yeah. Cartilages or muscles. They got no that. When you hit them. Well, they're Plus, they're undead already. Skeleton. The only way you can kill them is by hitting them with a blunt instrument. <laughs> no, you can slash them too. Okay, I don't actually. Are you saying that bards are. Oh, I have a quarter staff. Alright, you can I, I, whack him in the face. Heard, whack him in the face. Basically, say you pick a stick up off the ground and that's what you use to hit them with. God I damn it. You're gonna kill a skeleton <laughs> with a <laughs> stick? It doesn't matter how extra. big the stick is. Just pick it up and whack Just pick it up and whack him in the face. Use a pencil if I don't fucking care. I'm using a stick and I'm whacking the thing. Okay, yes. roll a one d twenty. Okay, now hit it with your best shit. Well, you're gonna hit a twenty anyway, so whatever. Just say twenty. Uh, it says damage is one d six plus two. Yeah, but you're gonna roll in the one d twenty to see if you actually hit him. Not, not for damage. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so what's going on? Where are we? So right now, we're creating a roll twenty account. So we just did okay, initiative. I'm she's at... first, and she's fighting a skeleton. We're we're telling we're teaching Sheriff how to do a uh, critical hit. Okay, so uh, your character rolls a one d twenty. Let's pretend that fourteen's a twenty. Whoop de do! Oh, you hit a natural twenty! Whoa! Okay, whatever. So uh, your character, so your character takes a stick, or it was a stick, right? Uh, it, it was, it, yeah, basically. Okay, so your staff. character, okay. your character ta picks up her his staff. I don't know, whatever her staff. Her and. And with an extra, extra set of force, she swings and hits the fucker right in the face. And the skeleton just jolts back and hits the floor. Uh, roll your damage. Or roll another 1d20 to see if you actually quit. Crit. It's going to be an automatic 20. Okay. How, how do you okay. do that? I, I want to learn seven. how to <laughs> Get to 7. Get to 7. I'll tell you right after. So, okay. So, you hit another 20. So, you're going to roll a damage. And then pretend it's a nutshell twenty. Uh, you're gonna roll damage and just double that, or or you can roll two damages again twice and add it together. Okay. Uh, two d six. Two d six right. basically. Do a two d six. D six, and then my modifier I'm... is plus two. Mm-hmm. I'm not I getting can... where the commands are, like being put for the. Should I use my modifier? Here. Uh yeah sure. All right so then. All the info's in info bots. You do exclamation and then R space one D twenty. Yeah, where do you do that? Oh, in Dungeons and Dragons. I was confused because I don't see anyone actually putting commands. I'm just seeing stuff happen. Oh yeah, yeah that's why I was confused. it hides it. Yeah, it hides it. So I put all the commands, uh, all the info inside info bots because I don't think it shows oh, the I'm command. Doing it. Hey! Now. Hey! You actually hit a if twenty. Can... Yeah, I got yeah twenty. Nice. Yeah. Not a natural 20, though. Yeah, so basically you killed the skeleton because you hit a 20 twice. Congratulations. Yay. That's how it works. So basically... If you roll a 20, you're basically... And then, and then okay. pull the pull the pull the pull the pull the... So you roll 20 once. I have to do this for the sake of doing this. All right. You're basically um, a beast if you hit a 20. Let's pretend this is a D20. Okay, this is definitely a D20. Yeah. All right. You do oh, that I again. died. <laughs> you died. I died. Oh, you no. died. Yeah. Wow. Three so, <laughs> also one thing. Here's another thing with battling. If you lose your HP, goes to zero, you're in a state of unconscious. Like you start to become unconscious. You're still living, but when you hit the neg, you start hitting the negative. You start bleeding out. You can't do anything, and you gotta roll so a. People can still revive you. Yeah, but you gotta roll a fortitude to check if you don't bleed out the death. And if you bleed out the death, your character is dead. Well, that's what I would assume. Yeah. I'm that... confused now, again. Okay, so when you're fighting an enemy, like, pretend you're fighting an enemy, right? An enemy whacks you in the face, and you lose your hit points. You're, you're down to, like, zero, right? 
you you instead of just dying right away, you become unconscious and just fall to the floor like you pass out basically. They they whack you silly. You, you get you get passed out. So at that point, when your turn comes in again, you have to roll a fortitude check in order to s stop yourself from bleeding. If you fail that, you will start bleeding and lose more HP and go to the negative. If you hit so a that negative be... number up to 5 or 10, well, that's my preferences, your character dies completely and doesn't come back. But your character can, he the other characters, other players can heal you or just patch you up, make sure you're up to health again. So checks are the... So basically what Steve, checks are, right? if you want to do an action or anything, you have to roll these, th these initiatives or these rolls called checks to see if your character either makes it or fails or in between. I'm usually so, the latter. So first it would be skill, of course, and then what would the dice be? Uh, it's going to be a 1d20 plus your modifier. Modifiers is your character's skill. Like if they're really good at, at swimming, your modifier is going to be plus whatever number it is for, for swimming. And what are saves, by the way? So saves is whenever a character tries attacking you or using a spell on you, you, you roll a dice and call it save to save you from this thing or, or your character dodges in the way before getting hit or, or cast upon with a spell or whatever. Like, for example, if a witch casts... Oh my god, really? If, it, if a witch casts curse on you, you can roll a dodge save or whatever kind of save there is. Your character either, either gets half the damage or they just dodge it completely. That's what you call a, a, a save roll. Yeah. Ah. It's still also a 1d20. Or they completely fail. Yeah, or they can completely fail. Yeah. Which would be a 1. <laughs> yep. Yeah, like what what Lucas Yeah, what Lucas says basically. What, Imagine what? using a live chat system but also being at working Gold. and taking the poop just Freaking to send this. Elsa, oh how do God. you die so quickly? <laughs> okay. Shush. <laughs> Are you talking about the zombie thing? She she got ripped apart. No, oh my. no because one, one, one. <laughs> oh no, she died. The skeleton whacked her ass. She, she, dead. she dead. Look at the dice that I used. Okay, they were D1s. Nope, they're 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 D20s. You you just suck at rolling. Shh. Your restaurant being dead because people don't eat sushi when when the raptors are uh, raptors oh yeah are i nearly brought a building down on per a person <laughs> really oh wow yeah, i'm actually on i'm actually on roll 20 right now oh nice i don't know i'm not even there yet let me check it really quickly how can i tell if I you're there or not do i have to re-roll it or what 31 d20 <laughs> <laughs> congrats oh also one thing i love doing also is whenever you're in, in a shop Whenever you're in a shop I'm and immature. and you're not sure if the shop owner has this one item, what I like to do is roll a 50-50 chance. For this, what you do is you either pick a high number or a low number. You say high or low. And what happens? And then I'm going to make you roll a 1D100. And if it's the higher numbers, they have it. Or I'll say whatever. Or if it's a lower number, whatever. If it's the opposite of what you say, they don't have it. But if what you say, I'll give like an extra bonus. Like for example... If your character is in the shop, what do you, what are you looking for? Your character, what 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 would your character look for? Uh, let's say let's say you're in a school building and they're selling they're selling items, and you want to know if they have if they have pencils. You walk up to the pencil, you walk up to the shop owner, and, and you ask, "Hey, hey, can I have a pencil?" He got any? Grapes? Yeah, sure. You oh, want to no. buy grapes? Oh, she she left. All right, you want to you want to go. <laughs> You want to buy grapes, all right? Well, that was an accident. All right, you want you want to buy grapes? Good, you asked. Expecting... I wasn't expecting roll twenty to have freaking cameras. Jesus. Yeah. All right, so Wait, so. Cameras? Wait, like, I'm trying I'm trying to explain this. I I, I launched the dragon cast thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And suddenly it asked for my camera, and then suddenly it was at the bottom. I was like, wait, what? Huh? What? <laughs> oh, oh no! All right. So, oh, I thought. Oh, you meant it that way. I was terrified. Oh. Yeah, I'm. I'm spying on everyone. All right. So, do you want me to continue We're doing this the roll explanation? Thing another time, though. Yeah, that's after the podcast. I'm not sure exactly what to do with that. Oh, I have to learn I'm that. I'm gonna have to go now. All right. See if. Wait, you were Oof. barely here for it. What the hell? Yeah, I realized that. I'm sorry. Unforeseen <laughs> consequences. 
<laughs> all right, all right. See you, man. You must suffer you. the three ones. I'm gonna kill your uh, character when he just I'll jumps in. By the see way. You, see you later, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> see ya. Oh, bye, pineapple. What the fuck? All right. Yes, so I'm, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need Golden. I need you to roll some stuff. So you, you go up to the character ah. in the school building and you ask for grapes. And the character's like, I don't know. Let me check the back. Pick a high or low number. Just say high or say low. High. All right, now roll a 1d100. See if it's a high number or not. All right, so you're yeah. rolling, and it rolls a 70. That's higher than 50, so that's a high number. So, you, so the shop owner that's rummages around, picks up a grave off the floor, said, this will be one set. Here you go. And he, he sells you a grave that he found on the floor. He, he, he has God it. Damn it. <laughs> that, that's exactly how it works for, for the chance. Oh, by the way, you got to see on your on test. Floor. I was hoping there would be maybe a chance that it would be on the floor. <laughs> it can go any way. I mean, that's D&D. It's, it's like a group kind of thing. You don't have a narrative you sell. Otherwise, just make a book. It's like a group effort. They make the story. So Yeah, but I love how most D&D stories is someone tripping five times before they actually can do something. That can't happen. I've seen Shush. that happen. I bet I know who would be that one tripping five times. <laughs> Golden. <laughs> <Shush>. <laughs> All right. So no harsh truths here. Also, another aspect I love with it is is just character building for that for D and D when you just have have the certain characters. Like for example, my character is a bard who has a Russian accent. He's not Russian, but he has a Russian accent, and uh, he likes singing and he has high uh, he he has high uh, charisma. And he just every time you see, he tries to use that to swindle people into stuff. And it's super fun, super super fun. He's like a gold digger, basically. Basically, but yeah, yeah. So he's like those Victorian gold diggers who sound Russian for some reason. Yes. <laughs> and the funny part is his build is he's mostly a supportive act, but his how he attacks is he says he 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 injures people's prides and that hurts him. Like he has this move that's called. Um, what was his move? It's, it's most like something with uh, attack. He has... No, not Arm Strike. What was he called? Uh, vicious Mockery. So he mocks the character so bad it injures them. <laughs> oh, damn? Yeah. Question mark? That, that, that's... That's... Uh... Okay. <laughs> Is that a custom or something? Huh? No, it's an actual move in D&D. &D called what Vicious Mockery. You mock the other characters so bad you, that it, it injures them. You think it would be more of a toxin, not freaking, uh, that. But okay. Let's see. Vicious Mockery. If there we go. Gonna, like, it rolls do a duty do do for. Right now, I yeah, you're right. All right. So you want to roll like a, hey, Sheriff, you want to try it? Uh, sure. This is a complete test. Okay. So what, what, uh, I'm going to make this super vague. So what your, what's your, uh character human let's just say your character is a human right yes yeah he's human sure. okay what class do you want do you know basic rpg uh let's see do you want to be a big fighter do you want to use magic or do you want to throw music at people or do you want to use do uh, use daggers and be like a ninja i'd probably be a magical user all right so you're a mage you're gonna use fake magic all right so this is just gonna be a little test so, both of you are in this village, right? You're in this village. One of you is in one place, another is in another place. Where do you want to be, Golden? I want to be in the market because I'm buying stuff. All right, so you're in the market and you're, you're, you're buying stuff. And uh, while that's happening, Sheriff, where is your character? Your character is a magic user, uh, so... God, so many choices. <laughs> There's a magic store if you want to do that, too. There is also there's okay. Do you want to ask if there's any other stores and stuff? Uh, in this village, there's a magic store. There's a there is an inn. There is a uh, there there is a whorehouse, and then there is a bar place where you go drink. Can I change ale. my position? Of, of course, there would be a whorehouse. Yeah, there's a whorehouse. So where do you want to be, Sheriff? <laughs> what? I'd probably be at the end. All right, so your your character is just settling in inside the end. Golden, where's your character? Uh, 
I decided not to beat the market because the market's kind of boring and I want some excitement. All right. So I'm near the market in a street fight or in like a street brawl that's about to start. Oh God! Already, Jesus! All right, so, Jesus. so your character is in the bar fight and people are starting to crowd around, saying, "Yeah, go!" As that hap as that's happening, Sheriff's character hears the commotion, uh, while he's in his inn. And let's just say that you rule a twenty; it's always going to be a twenty for you. Make a bad life decision. Yeah. So, what does your character choose then? Do anything, or you're just going to stay in the inn? I'd probably go complain because it's too loud. Okay, so you go down. Your, your sheriff character, your character goes downstairs to the inn innkeeper, and, and you uh, you want to role play this? Act, speak how what your character wants to speak to the inn, the manager of the inn. So so you walk up to the inns. You you go down to the inns manager, and you see a bald headed male. In on uh, in front of the desk, he turns around as he looks you in the eye. And he says, "Oh shit, there's another mad character, another mad person. What do you want?" What does your character say? There's too much noise in here. He then looks at you and says, "Hey, this happens every Tuesday. What well, you can't explain about this? I'm, I don't own outside. This inn is just mine. That's it. What do you want me to do about it?" <laughs> Ask them. It's like padding. Uh, padding? What is padding? What is that? Do you want the uh, cotton for your ears? That that can work too. <sighs> Might as well deal with it myself. Okay. Goodbye, customer. Have a good day. So your character walks outside. Where Golden's fighting the another person in a hand to hand brawl. I never said I was fighting. At this point, I'm placing bets on who's gonna win. All right, so your character is placing bets and on who's I'm gonna win. The all right, all right. I was just assuming that your character was fighting the, the person. So you got two men who's fighting. If one you of them. Want, I can be fighting. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that right away. So one of them, the person that you bet on won, or yeah, I'm just gonna say it's automatic. So you're, the person that you bet won. And now he says, Okay, who wants to fight me? I'm the strongest. And people are like, ah, Who here is strong enough and willing enough to fight the Meister? And I say me, and then I freeze them. He looks... <laughs> Alright, he looks at you right before you try to attempt to freeze him. As is, A dragonborn? Roll me a 1d20 to see if you are successful with that, with that freezing magic. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> because you're one. Oh damn! Fourteen. All right. See, that's so not he terrible. says, he says, "Why am I fighting?" And as he says that, you just hear a, a something blow past people and just hits him in the leg, and he freezes from the feet up. He says, "What is this? No!" And he just stood, stays there in place, frozen. Everyone gasps in horror, looks at you, and starts screaming and running away. What does your character do? It's like. You're now the villain. Um, <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, yeah, totally. Time for just some stay. alcohol. <laughs> okay, so. And then I switch, and then I chug a pint of beer. So your character because, pulls yeah. out a pint of beer and drinks it. Drunk is like, yeah, I'm the winner. While that's happening, sheriff, your character walks in and sees everything go down as it happens. What do you do? I face palm, shaking okay. my head. <laughs> <laughs> Valid. <laughs> That's valid. So your character walks in to see a dragonborn freeze a human being, to nothing but frozen. Everyone running and screaming, and she just she just takes out and just starts drinking like it's nothing. Your character face palms himself. Because she like, doesn't care about anything. Yeah. Would you like? To, yeah. Uh. So she after drinking beer, she turns. He turns to the side and looks at you. What does the character do, Golden? Hey, you're not running. Whack. <laughs> okay. Do you want to try and hit him? Um, I want to analyze the situation to see if he's actually a threat. All right, so you're gonna have to roll me a uh, perception, one d twenty perception. Yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Your character is just too drunk. You see three people when it's supposed to be one. It's like, ah, oh, I can't tell if it's a threat or not. I'm just gonna <laughs> assume it's, it's it's a threat. It was only a pint. I can't be that drunk. You're super drunk. That kind apparently is a little too strong. I'm a dragonborn. Shut up. 
<laughs> all right, so... Just because you're a Dragonborn doesn't mean you're not a wizard. Yeah. Okay, so... let's just say he was, like, 50%, all right? All right, so, Sheriff, you see this dragon just <laughs> chugging down the pint of alcohol and eyeing you from head to toe. What, what do your character do? Hmm. You can say anything, do anything, it's, it's your choice, man. I'd probably just analyze them as well people are still yelling and screaming in the back room while you do that and from a distance you can hear the guard saying hey so you're going to analyze Who her did this yeah hey what's the commotion yes. so sheriff you're gonna you're gonna analyze it all right so uh do you know how to roll uh i think so it's exclamation mark. i was about to say i can <laughs> roll for you if you don't know how and then i realized that i have terrible luck <laughs> so it's uh exclamation, exclamation R. mark r space R or one D twenty, no, not R. It's one D twenty. Uh, I showed I showed what it's supposed to look like earlier. Oof. Oh my God! You wow. critical fail. You have no <laughs> wow. idea what you're doing. You just see a dragon more, and you see her scales, and it says, "Huh?" And then the screaming just is so loud, you just can't tell what's happening. You just well, confused. I guess that, I, I I'm guessing that makes sense because like literally everything is happening at once. So I'm kind of yeah. like. So as as, as both hey, of you, I'm not freezing people at this point. Not everything is happening. So as both of you are trying to eye each other but failing critically, the guards comes in. And says, hey, what's happening here? Why is there a frozen man? He then looks at the frozen person and looks at the dragonborn. Did you do this? And he then points at sheriff and saying, Dude, "Are you with her?" The third and then. One of the person stop. One of the people running around stops and says, "I've seen it. I've seen it. That she demon did it. She killed him in cold blood." He then looks at both of your characters um, and says, "I'm sorry, guys, but you're gonna have to come in for some questioning." Can I say something real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Your character can do it. What, what, what's your character One, do? One, I did not kill him. He's just knocked out and encased in ice. If you guys don't release him, then he is going to die. And two, no. <laughs> just no. Just no. Would you like to say anything, Sheriff, before anything happens? I'll cast sleep. Oh my god, that's I bad. I about the noise. Okay, so you want who do you want to cast sleep on? The Sheriff? I mean, not the Sheriff, the, the guard? One, one of the town the guards? Sheriff. There's like four guards oh, at this point. how many are there? There's, there? There's three, but one came in after, after the yelling and screaming, so there's four complete. Oh, so I can knock them all away from me. I can knock them I, I all don't ten think... feet away from me. You can do that, but there's consequences for your action. Just letting you know. Is this going to be another zombie case are. again? Okay, great, because um, I have sleep that can do a range slash area of 90 feet. Okay. And it knocks them out for a minute. All right. So... So you want to go into battle with them and then, or just try attempt to do this? Should I just knock them out? That works. All right, you gotta roll me a one d one d twenty to see if you actually hit. Uh, one d twenty. Yeah, chef. Do you want to do anything before she casts? Say or do anything. I probably move out of the way of any attack. It's ninety feet, dude. You're gonna get knocked. Is it like a cone or is it like a surrounding sphere? It's a surrounding sphere. Oh my god, you're then I'd oh. probably move away from the guards. You don't know you don't know. Okay, so Sheriff sees the guards coming, he's like, Oh shit, I gotta get the fuck out of here. So you're gonna have to roll me a one D twenty to see Oh, oh come on <laughs> I knew it! I okay. knew it! I literally It always I I literally oh my god. <laughs> Uh, roll me another one d twenty. Addicted back. So you got wait, wait. It. So I'm gonna assume that they like kind of lose bearing of their surroundings for like a second, and then they start attacking me. No, you gotta roll me another one. No, you gotta roll me another one. See if you actually do it on yourself. So mm -hmm. if I actually fail here. If you fail this roll, oh, right, you're you're gonna do it on yourself. Why am I catch lock? No. Well, do one d twenty. Oh, hey, oh, you barely, you just hit the mark. You just, if it was under a 10, you'd cast it on yourself. So you say, oh, you, you do the magical hand signs and then you push forward, but you're too drunk to even know if you did it right. And the guard just looks at you weird. Like, did you just, did you, did you just try casting a spell on us? And as that's happening, Sheriff's like, oh, I got to get the fuck out of here. And as, as that's, as all their attention is towards Golden, Sheriff just 
slowly backs away. Roll me a 1d20 to see if you sneak away. God damn it. <laughs> okay, it seems no. like I have worse. It seems I have more luck than that. Okay. <laughs> so your character tries to sneak away, but apparently he just starts stomping. Pom pom. He's like, hey, what the? Where the hell are you going? Stay right there. And you? Did you just try casting a spell on us? Similar to the character. Yeah, you know, definitely not. Apparently not. <laughs> you just okay. So and then as you're trying to explain to him, you just both you get hit hit both you get hit in the back of the head with like uh the hilt of the sword, which is what uh, from the guards behind you guys. You guys are knocked out, and that's the end of which this session. Which is perfect timing because I have to leave. Yep, <laughs> I knew it. I felt like it was going on for a little bit. God, you guys suck at rolling. Jesus. Shut up. It's, it's, it's chance. It's, yeah, it's, it's not horrible. <laughs> it's chance. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right. That's so, my timer going off. Yeah. I, I, I can't believe I have it. worse luck than... Yeah, you critically hey. failed, man. Okay, yeah, it's pretty Both bad. Of okay. You. Uh, see y'all, or talk to y'all another time. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye, Pineapple. Okay. Why is my name Pineapple? Because yes, go away. <laughs> wow, just wow. Well, All that right. happened. So, so what do you what do you think about it so far? That's basically what D and D is. You're gonna say something while you're doing something. Roll, see if it happens. <laughs> <laughs> you kicked her. I love how I'm just like, I'm I'm just like, bye, Pineapple, go away, gets kicked. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, she completely- she- she escalated this thing way too- there, there were so many ways this could have gone down. She just- she picks the worst way possible. Just- oh. Okay. So, you got any questions about D&D? And stuff like I that? I pretty much get it at this point. You, you got it at this point? Alright. So, uh, Boomer, hey, are you here, man? I feel like he's dead. No, he's editing, so I'm just gonna leave him to it. I was gonna ask if he had any uh, stories about when he does D when he did D and D. Well, well, I'm gonna. T no, if that's he's dead. Uh, yeah, he's dead. I'm gonna take the time to explain for the setup I'm gonna do. So I plan Can you hear to me do. Now? Oh, oh hey, you're here. I'm sorry, I didn't realize my microphone unplugged itself. Oh no, it's totally fine. Do you got any stories for D and D? Like any silly, funny stories All that happen? Stories that I have. Yeah, uh, like so especially for campaign... critical fails. Oh, I, I'm the king of failures in my D and D game. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. I'm the king of failures now. <laughs> oh my god, dude! You tried sneaking, oh. man. You just stomped. Why did you stomp? Oh. Well, I'll tell you the the good stories, and then I'll tell you the all the bad stories. I've only got all right. really two. Good or uh, one good story, and then the rest are funny fails, or except for one. All so right. Like the first one was uh, what we're playing under dark. I think that's what it's called. The under dark, yeah, that Balloon. story, that that story based. Isn't that? Yeah. Uh, explain a little bit about the under dark, because sheriff doesn't know anything about it. But to my uh, best so abilities, it's... I believe it's like an underground thing with like demons and and stuff like that. It's Jesus it's Christ. dark elf, or the ones we're doing is dark, dark elves. elves. Yeah. It's like a dark elf kill kingdom. Basically, they live underground. Um, everything is really dark. Only the dark elves can actually see. Isn't that the one with the lizard. god of elves that uh, that's like a spider woman or something? I'm not like too sure. I haven't got to that point. Um, there's dragons. I know that for sure. Mm -hmm. um, there's the beholder. We, we haven't got. Yeah, we haven't got too far into the campaign to get like to get all the way to where, where we're at we're still sort of halfway through it we're just all right we muck around way too much that's like when i say we just play for the sake of just having fun so i would say that a regular D, &D session would probably be finished but we're not even like a quarter of the way through we just keep mucking around <laughs> um one of the things was uh we needed paper and magical ink to create scrolls for because mm -hmm. we've got a light uh, a proper light elf like a regular elf and so well before we like i'll get to another story about that elf um but we needed to get paper and i'm a halfling thief so i can i i'm pretty good at sneaking so one of the things was all right we'll go to this merchant because we don't want to do too many crimes at the moment so we went up to this merchant, we're like, hey, we'd like to buy these pieces of paper. And he's like, 
10 pieces of paper for 100 gold. Oh my and God. I had it. And I'm like, are you kidding me? 100 gold? And I was like, fine. Here's, here's the 100 gold. Took oh, the you paper. Didn't, you didn't choose to actually persuade him a little bit? Anyone no, because I didn't. At the time, this was my first day of playing. So oh, This was yeah. my first D&D play, play. Like, ever. So I was like, all right, fine. And then I went to... Uh, I went to him, I'm like, I'm going to steal the rest of those pieces of paper. <laughs> I would have so, done the same. We're trying, to, we're trying to make a diversion. So we had a regular human and a regular elf. And I was like, all right, let's look around. And they found mud. And I'm like, uh, let's, I know this is going to sound racist, but can we put mud on the light elf? <laughs> oh my, you know, there's an actual <laughs> check that's called the race. I think there's a check that calls the racist check. Where certain NPCs, you oh. do a check to see if they're racist, and they're racist. Oh, that that brings even more stories. Well, oh my god! Better. Please no. Even better, like it worked. We put mud on him, and then we <laughs> pretended that the human was his whore. I can't believe you oh tried to me. So the <laughs> human would make a diversion, while the dark elf was just like, "Bitch, stop that." <laughs> while I snuck into the merchant to steal paper and you. all his gold and ran away. Wow. <laughs> How much did you end up taking? I took 100 pieces of paper and 400 gold. <laughs> it was a win. Uh, that is then... the most hilarious thing I have ever heard. Oh, you think, <laughs> you think that's funny? It's got even more bizarre. I, I know there's a group. There's a, po a group podcast of people. It's called uh, Authors and Dragons. They they end up what? burning a whole village and they almost drowned fighting a well. Everyone in the party. <laughs> I don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> a well. Yeah. And how are you drown by so fighting it? They jumped inside. What? Did someone just they failed. No one. Let's go under it. No. Okay. So the fire was surrounding them. They had no way except there's like some doors that are like almost broken. But they decided to jump in the well to see if there's a secret passage. None of them knew how to swim. And the, oh. and the elf kept jumping back in and was like, what the fuck are you doing? And then eventually, <laughs> all of them almost drowned. Oh. So wait, <laughs> that's, that's but, but why why did you say they were fighting a well? No, they were fighting a well. <laughs> yeah, you they said were fighting fight a well. <laughs> well, when we, were, when we were there inside, apparently the well had like a thing where it went against their checks. And so... You go into my hole. And the funny part is one of them, <laughs> one of them, one of them held a rock and jumped inside and just went straight down. <laughs> he kept holding on to the rock. It was ridiculous. <laughs> That's not even. Uh, That's even. Yeah. Was... What, my my character at the moment, I'll tell you this. My character was the most cockiest like person. He could like uh, climb everything really fast. Like, everything was fine. The, the usual halfling sort of yeah. attitude. Um, but now, after dying n nearly twice, <laughs> basically it was like, uh, what, the first time I tried to do this epic move where I jumped on a bat and stabbed him and landed down, like, tried to land down on him. Mm -hmm. So, I went to do that in ro check roll, and I rolled a one. Oh, so wow. I pretty much slid off the back and fell, for, what was it, like 60 feet to the ground. <laughs> that, yeah, that, that would have been really bad. And then... Jesus. And then obviously I died, and then they revived me. And then they, the next one was, all right, well, there's a, there's a spider in this hole. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go up to the top of this hole, and you hit the hole with fireballs, he'll come out, and I'll drop down and stab him. Not realizing that we're far more of a le The spider was a much higher level than us, basically <laughs> came out climbed up above me, dropped down, attacked me, I fell another 60 feet and died. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> After that, I went, fuck this, I'm making this game real now. I'm going to take this to a real level. My character now suffers from de depression and a fear of heights. <laughs> oh, oh, wow, oh. that... Because he's died twice, amazing. everyone bullies him for dying, so I'm like, fuck this, <laughs> fuck you guys. <laughs> I got, I got one of those, I got, I got... I got a funny sex story. Imagine just the irrational fear of specifically 60 heights. Yeah, you gotta update your character. You, you gotta update your character if something traumatic every happens. Every time you go it. 60 feet, every every time you go specifically 60 feet, you're just like, no. Am I gonna no. fall? No. <laughs> oh my God. Get me down! Get me down! Yeah, in, in the podcast, they one of them actually got a fear of water because of it. <laughs> Okay, so my character, 
my character is is a bard with a Russian accent. His name is uh, Putin with the B, and he's a womanizer. The his backstory is, is he was originally a noble, but he ended up marrying and remarrying like nine other wo- uh, noble women who took all his money, and now he just works as a bard. And he has he his his past is he he ends up drinking all his sorrow sorrows and borrowing it uh, in beer. So his references to his wife for everything. But he has like such a delusion about his wife. So every time he looks at it, he's like, Oh, you stink like third wife. But she's pretty. I like her. She's good. <laughs> but at this one point, he in this story, he was in a uh, whorehouse. And he meets this beautiful, dazzling woman. He's like, Oh, shit. She's like ninth wife. She's good. Shit. I have to go with that one. So she, he goes... And he, he, he does his little, you know, little, little checkup. You know, he got a natural 20. Get that, get that little thing. It's like, oh, okay, you. Right, but yeah. the thing is, the whole time, he sucks at talking. He's like, you, I have six. You want six? Let's cool. And he ruled. He, he ruled like natural 20. Yeah, so yeah, he had no way. He's like, ah, sure, whatever. So they go up in the room. And right before sex, she's like, oh, give me a moment. Uh, and then he does a persuasion check, and he rolls a natural 20. He noticed there's a ring on her, so he's like, oh, this you're too pretty for this. And he pulls it out. She turns into a big, hairy, gnarly troll. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and he goes to the door, and he goes to the door, and he looks. There's a sign at the door saying, no cash back, needs to finish hour. And he's like, shit. <laughs> well, I better have booze to fix this. <laughs> he just fucking goes with it. It's like, you're going to look like third wife? I'm going to fuck you like third wife. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, you know, I would just be like, put the ring back on, damn it. Put the ring back put on. Put it back on. Put it back <laughs> Yeah, but he's such a woman. I was like, uh, well, I'm in this shit. Might as well have the sex. You know, she's a woman. <laughs> hey, might as well. <laughs> hey, it's not like second wife. She's, she's not, not as bad. She's not as bad. She smells like fourth wife. She you know how yeah. To please a man. At least she smells like flowers. She's not smelling like third wife. It's good. It's it's okay. She's fat. It's oh good. god. It's very good. <laughs> she she yeah. may be fat, but I love her. And she might be a little hairy, but not as much as second wife. So hey. <laughs> I feel like this bar doesn't make any sense at this point. It's just kind of like this and that and. <laughs> yeah, but my character. Impressions of the character. Yeah, the impressions are the best. My character is such... He, he's, a, he's a nice guy, but he's an asshole. What he does is he hides behind other <laughs> characters while he screams at the other one. His attack is vicious mockery. So he, he yells and and uh, mocks other characters so bad that it injures them, their pride, and it actually does oh, damage. Yeah. It's so like, what he does? Me. I am you. Look how stupid I am. I am you. <laughs> I know. Look, look at me. You know what he does? He runs. So you. my character look was in a you. fight. I am you. He he was in a fight with another ca- with with uh, a group of adventurers, right? He goes right behind a paladin, looks over his sides, like you look like little child, and he does damage and just hides right behind the bard. Like you try to fight me, you look like little you know, child. You're so bad. If I'm honest, I feel like that move would make more sense as a negative modifier instead of actually doing damage, because like. <laughs> What? No, it, the vicious mockery, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's a spell. It's so, it, you mock them so bad that it hurts their pride and it, it hurts them. Oh, uh, it yeah, it's like, you know, you, you fight good, but you're not as good as, uh, uh what the sixth wife. She's, she's like battle <laughs> mage. You're like little child. No, you I suck. Kn- I know no, little I child know better than you. Troll. I know she is troll, but $20 is $20. <laughs> $20 is $20. Imagine you want- if, like... Do you want to be Imagine dead if wife? It was like something where you actually had to think of it. Do you want, do you want to be yes. wife number 10? We could make it work. Yeah. We can make work. <laughs> I, I don't think anyone wrong. wants that. That's okay. I, 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 I just I need one guy. That's any, all any good. Run away. I, I just need I can I can drink enough vodka to make you beautiful. <laughs> that would make everyone run away including his teammates. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's... And he just be he he'd just be there. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, where did everybody this... go? Oh, drink I... for vodka. I hate I hate <laughs> to just quick. Sorry, I have to address this right now. I'm editing my uh, surgeon simulator video, uh-huh. and because oh. it's a VR, so I've got my full body tan. Oh, I realized because oh. I'm wearing a button-up shirt. I haven't yeah. un- I haven't done up the bottom button, so you can see like a little bit of my underbelly. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, not even kidding. Like a you tiny just, you can, little bit of gut. Is you can just out. crop it. It's it's like, fine. Nah, I'm, it's good. I'm fine. My problem is I tried using. It I have straight um, up in my idiot. I have like a camcord for for my uh, cam, but it's also linked with the Elgato. For some reason, it only either shows the game recording and not the webcam, or webcam and not re game recording. I don't know what the problem what? is. What? Have you used Have you used Streamlabs? Uh, no, no, no. It's not that. It's the problems with the device itself. I, I don't know why. That's weird. It, I'm using both Camlink and Elgato. It's not including both. Ah, Ever since the new update, I don't know why. Because what I use, well, not when I'm doing videos, I have like two computers. One that I got given for free that I use for like PC gaming. Lucky. It's, it's an old computer, so it doesn't last that long. Oh, I, I had that. I had something like that happen voice. to me too. Yeah, I use it as like one to put, record my voice. I've got a really shitty one grand tower that I re that records my gameplay, and I have a handheld camera. Mm -hmm. That's off its own, like that's on its own. Yeah, I have that and too. So I, I like to connect that to my computer. Computer. I can't con. Oh, mine brand doesn't connect, which is annoying. So yeah. I have to. When I'm streaming, I have to just use my webcam. So. Oh, that sucks. Where the cam the cam the camcorder is a bit of better quality when it comes to videos. Yeah. And it's sort of like it's a bit of a process, but I love it. All right. I and think I'm the, a game developer. Yeah, same. I'm I'm planning to do that right now. I'm in I'm in school for that. Oh, you're doing game development? Nice. Yeah. I'm actually um, working on it right now. Yeah, oh, I'm specifically nice. going on a. Uh, on Send me a link of your side. game and I'll play it. Uh oh. Uh. Okay. Uh -oh. Obviously, when it's hey. done, not not straight up. Well, I already have the first game kind of mostly made. There's just some bugs that need to be fixed, but you know. Okay, but, I, started, uh, I already told you my personal problems with it. It just felt like a walkthrough for me. Well, I mean... It's your first game, so I can't really say too much about it. But, what uh, you, but whatever. Also, whatever. Also, what you, see, you, you didn't really actually see the full version, because when I showed you, that was like an old, 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 old. Oh, you <laughs> updated it even more? Oh, jeez, I'm going to have to play yes, it again. There, there's a lot because like before that that wasn't even scratching the surface of what i was adding to that game yeah that seemed very very so. bare bones all right so it's starting to go near the end of the podcast you got any lasting things to say before we end it nope nothing play D. &D. all right yeah basically <laughs> line of end play D, &D. have fun till then That's i'll great. see you guys later dragon myth tacos oh god what the fuck out <laughs>